For today's short devotional, I want to speak to you from 1 John chapter 5, verses 4 and 5, where we read this. For whatever is born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that has overcome the world, our faith. Who is he who overcomes the world but he who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? Now, we would think it's strange if the child of rich parents was poor, or the child of very small parents became very large. We expect children to follow, at least in some way, after their parents. And it's the same way with those who are born of God. And in this section, John wants us to see that if we are born of God, we will overcome the world. The idea that anything that is born of God is defeated by the world, that seems strange to John, and it should seem strange to us. Now, how do we become overcomers? By faith. Did you see what it said there in 1 John chapter 5, verses 4 and 5? Who is he who overcomes the world but he who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? The life of abiding faith and trust in Jesus Christ is the life that overcomes the pressures and the temptations of the world. As we really know who Jesus is, not just as a matter of facts or information, but also as food for our life, then Jesus will fill our souls so greatly that the temptations of this world no longer will have the same power over us. They're still there, but we are different people. This means that we overcome because of who we are in Jesus, not primarily because of what we do. We overcome because we are born of God. And we are born of God because we believe that Jesus is the Son of God. And we believe it in more than an intellectual sense, but we put our lives on the fact that Jesus is the Son of God for us. Now, in what ways are we world overcomers in Jesus? First, Jesus said, In the world you will have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. That's in John chapter 16, verse 33. Because Jesus has overcome the world, as we abide in him, we are overcomers in Jesus. Secondly, John has already said in his letter, speaking about those who were growing in their walk with Jesus, you have overcome the wicked one. That's in 1 John chapter 2, verses 13 and 14. As we walk with Jesus and grow in that walk, we will overcome our spiritual opposition. Overcomers have a special place in the world to come. Jesus promised this in Revelation chapter 3, verse 21. To him who overcomes, I will grant to sit with me on my throne, as I also overcame and sat down with my father on his throne. Finally, overcomers overcome because the blood of Jesus overcomes Satan's accusations. The word of their testimony overcomes Satan's deceptions, and loving not their lives overcomes Satan's violence. That's found in Revelation chapter 12, verse 11. Brothers and sisters, Jesus Christ is the complete winner. He overcomes everything. As we live our lives in him, we can't lose. Remember that today.